Hey guys. Happy Wednesday. Today we're going to be making um, Mexican food. We're making chicken quesadillas and torti with tortillas, chicken, and jalapenos. Be sure to like the video right there. And add the jalapenos. We have jalapenos here. Hi, Angela Foster. Hi, Hopeton Allen. That's your own. That's your cousin. Um, let me switch the camera around. Here we have the chicken. Just the chicken breast cut up, sliced up. We have jalapenos here. These is this is um onion. This is garlic um sp sp pressed down. We have habanero lime flour tortillas, and then we have a bunch of seasonings over there to put in the chicken. Alright, so the chicken breast, guys. Hello, folks. Good afternoon to you. It's a beautiful evening. And the chicken breast, I just cut them up for Josh. And the first thing I'm going to add is a little cooking oil. Alright. Good evening, good evening, good evening. Josh the Real is, we're doing tortillas tonight. And we might use this. Hold it, hold the camera for me. We might use this, but I want to use the bigger ones, which are these, these monster ones, monster, oh, these monster ones, and I usually keep them in the freezer, guys, that's why they look frozen. Alright, Josh, so, what kind of ingredients you want to put on your chicken? You can tell the guys what you, which one and which one you're using while I cut up the the garlic for you and and I'm gonna cut up the onion and all those stuff yeah okay how do you get back in okay so here we have a bunch of different seasonings we have garlic powder we have Mexican fiesta seasoning which is good for this we have bejol bejol is is a, a spanish seasoning and what it does is basically just makes the, the the chicken gets um very very pretty and orange so it's like a it's like an egg powder seasoning we have black pepper from badia we have crushed um red peppers we have smoked paprika which is good for this we have mushroom no no or like orange chicken? No, it's not like orange chicken. Yeah. But it, 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 it gives it a, a bright orange color. Like 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 when you use egg powder in Jamaica we call, we call it egg powder. We have adobo. It's like all purpose seasoning. Um we have spicy garlic seasoning. Garlic salt. Um and chili chili powder make it a little spicy if you want it to be and you have um chopped onions but we already have like like real onions over there but we still can use a chopped onion because the chopped onion is the flavor is more intense so we can use a chopped onion and we may not use all those stuff we may not use all of these so you can start with like the like egg chicken the, who says egg chicken kino what are you saying Make kino boy. What, what do you Start want? with the garlic powder. Okay, so you want to put the garlic powder from Badia also. The same as the black pepper. And you just want to, how much? Just like. Just cover everything with garlic powder. Make sure everything is, is, is the garlic powder touches everything. And then you're going to take a spoon and you're going to mix it in a little bit. So you just put uh, garlic powder to cover the whole the whole amount of chicken, basically all the chicken. Mm -hmm. 
and, 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 and him have garlic powder upon the table and everywhere, guys. But you might learn how to cook, you know, because he's a food lover. Just Great. try to turn it around and get... Yeah. And just, then you put more after? You can put a little bit more garlic powder. You can never have enough. All right? So you want to you want to do this because you're gonna we're gonna cook the chickens and um and I, I, I make sure mince them so that we can use them that way. Mm, All right. Sad. We're gonna add some real garlic now. And then you're gonna get to mix again. Then you just mix up the chicken. And I'm going to wash the this chicken. Make sure you get all the garlic separated. So, I'll let you do this. And it's going to be like a stir fry, guys. When when we when we watched the Mexican um, food on YouTube, we realized that most of their food is cooked on a grill. Like, to make this. So, you just want to do like a quick stir fry. So, I'm just adding... Um, add something else. Add anything else that you choose. Everything there that you use, that that you, everything here can be added. You understand? So you, based on what you feel like, just add more things. Okay, I want so it to be have, your uh, desire. We have paprika, which we can add if we want it to be a long, more spicy. So we're just gonna add a little of that. Basically enough to cover the whole chicken. And this is a body also. I guess they make good spices. Yeah, promote them. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh my god. Kino. What is Kino saying? Yes, I love spice. <laughs> and in the light pepper. Alright, so now remember Josh. You want to incorporate properly. Alright? When you're adding your spice, no, <laughs> Joshua, let, let me see, let me let me see what the, what the person said. <laughs> oh my God! Pray a kid. Joshua asks about bad word of course. <laughs> the kiss my cold foot. <laughs> oh my. All right, see, you you basically want to add your 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 um, paprika to that desired amount because you want the chicken to be a nice color. All right, and this is the the, the powder egg powder uh, seasoning. It's also um, Hispanic. Yeah, I think it is. If it's not Hispanic, it's Haitian, and so we add that, and that also will help with the color. Yeah, see that. See that color? All right. And then the next thing I'm gonna add now is I'm gonna add the onions. The onions. <laughs> and then you can add some of this black and pepper. some of that. Got black pepper. It's always good for general spice. Just sprinkle it over. And we also have. Mexican fiesta seasoning with chilies, tomato, and cumin. First, I guess, if you want it to taste more like how Mexican people make it, or it just right. has their seasonings. Right. Now, this is our jalapeno, guys, and I split them in half, wash them and split them in half. Now, normally, I would use it, you know, whole, but because the wifey and Joshua, you know, not really wanting too much spice, okay. the spice is in the seeds. So, once you take the seeds out and that middle pit there, you will lose a lot of the spice. So, I'm taking out um, the, the middle of it. Kino said he's around the corner. Tell him to go. You could come, Kina. So, Bo, a run today, no female in the kitchen? <laughs> yeah, we'll put the wife up on pause. 
The wife you have to watch from another room. So you just stir it up, make sure. And you can add a little more oil, Josh. Oil? Yeah, just a oh. little more oil. We have extra virgin olive oil. Normally we don't use the extra the, the olive oil, but that's what we have. You can use it to make it easier to to move. Mix, I yeah, guess. when you mix it. Your sister, y'all catch the vibes though, Joshua. Y'all catch the vibes, you know? Pretty soon, we are going to leave you and go for all the weekend, make you stay and cook for yourself. You understand? Can my mother tell me, say, if you can't cook, women will abuse you. All the women on the chat room, please agree with me. If him can't learn to cook as a young boy, women going to beat him. I'll <laughs> then I'll call DCF. I <laughs> saw. Uh, uh, okay, it makes good. Makes good. Oh, it smells. It smell good. I can't really smell because oh, my because nose is stuffy. Your nose stuffy. Should I add this question? No, that's that's you have to, you have to game it and time it because if you add too much of that and mommy can't eat it, the two of us gonna get put out of the house. So you wanna chance it and eat a piece of jalapeno on, on camera? Sure. Let's see. Tan 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 Joshua is gonna try it. not all of it, just bite piece. He's gonna try the bite piece of the jalapeno on camera. <laughs> If it burn you, that are you, they are you, you know. <laughs> it's hot. <laughs> it's hot. I thought, I thought it was sweet. Him <laughs> 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 run gone. Him <laughs> run gone, gone wash out the mouth. <laughs> the Charlene said lie. That's not for a man. That's for a woman. <laughs> <laughs> there's no spice in the seed that's a myth in rank <laughs> there's there is spice in the seed that <laughs> there is spice in the seed there's a bunch of spice in the seed got him <laughs> crazy <laughs> what will that yeah it's nice and spicy it's not overly not joshua come on it's not that bad. It's, it's not that bad, guys. Spicy. He said like it's too spicy. Nah, nah, nah. Eat the whole thing. It's nothing. Mm -hmm. It's nice. It's good. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm. It run gone. Mm -hmm. Man, man don't have to cook. No, man have to learn to cook. I will say man not have to cook. Hmm? Man, I have to learn to cook. Remember that. Remember me tell you that. All right. So I'm just going to add the jalapenos now. And give it a final. And let me tell you something, guys. If you see jalapenos in the bottle, the ones that are pickled and in the bottle, them hotter than the fresh jalapenos. You didn't know that, right? Yes. Because those have the no, pit. No, really. They're more tangy. Them have the pit and everything. The movie theater ones is the best one to me. Alright, I'm adding some of the onion. Uh, personally, I like all the onion taste. Oh, the onion done. So I'm going to add the onion. Men don't cook, men not eat. Can you do me a favor, grab a lime out of the refrigerator for me, please, son? It's where the oranges and, and apples are. And I have this great, great um, ingredients, guys, that I picked up at um, Trader Joe's. It's a umami seasoning blend and it has mushroom and a whole bunch of stuff in it. And I'm going to add it as well because I'm not adding anything like, no, you don't have to, you don't have to. All right. Because you want it to be nice, you know, when you're doing the stir fry, you want it to be nice and ting and ting. Charlene Tracy says, is lie. So I have my lime here, over here, and I'm going to come over this side and put the stove on 
the heat. <coughs> In the kitchen would make him like a stew fry. I saw it there Monday, but didn't buy. They should leave out the mushrooms. Who should leave out the mushroom? Oh, but it's good though. I I, I like it. I honestly like it. I think it's dried mushrooms, so it's it's not too bad. Not a bad thing at all at all. Yeah, so <laughs> me goes popping. <laughs> All right, so we have this nice now. And guys, if if we if we had um um time on our hands, we could have made this sit and marinate for a while. But it's not overly necessary because it's chicken breast, and you're really not you know you're not marinate it too much. I cook for my husband every day and I love it. That's great. That's great. And I appreciate ladies who can cook for their husbands. But I also think that men have a duty to learn how to cook and to make sure that they're, they're getting good food. And you, you can't get good food unless you know where you get. You understand? Some man just, I don't, I may believe some man where can't cook is a crop. That's just me. A man have to learn to cook, star. A man have to learn to take up pot and, and pan and cook him dinner. That's my thing, that. And a whole heap of man can't cook. No cook, no wife. Suppose your wife gets sick. Suppose you get sick one day. You eh? might go sit down and ball or you might go eat fast food. No. You might have to get up and learn. You see me? I just saw my thing set, you see me? You must be learned, you see me? <laughs> you calling my husband crap. <laughs> <laughs> Charlene, me don't mind what's the husband can't cook, man. Sure. <laughs> me don't mean him. <laughs> I mean, not him, 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 but like, maybe like him. <laughs> oh, God. Kiro. Where is the word at Kiro? <laughs> <laughs> All right, Josh. We're gonna, we're gonna move over that side here a little bit now. Yeah, unplug and come over. Come over to here. And yeah, as you can see, stay away from the fire. All right. I'm using the stove on high because that's how I want it. And I'm just gonna drop in my chicken. And this is a quick stir fry type of thing. And normally I would make Joshua do this part too, but no, I, I think he should he should at least watch while I do what I'm doing. You know to learn. And so you want to stir fry your chicken. And remember chicken breast it takes no time to cook it takes it cooks very quickly so we are watching the the, the the ingredients my husband can't even fry eggs <laughs> what <laughs> that's why it was a win because you can fry egg you can make rice <laughs> what else can you cook josh <laughs> ramen <laughs> josh is a great ramen cooker And guys, what you want to do is you want to, while you're stirring your pot, you're separating the chicken pieces to make sure that you get individual pieces, you know, not, not falling out of the pot. No. Good. <laughs> oh, it smells. It smells good. I can smell it. Awesome. I know that the wife is the wife in the kitchen and in the room. Hold on, the method method sneeze. Hello, hello, you know. Hello, you know, guys, so strong. Let me open the door to get some of this air out. 
And guys, this is so quick. As a matter of fact, you can try it. You, can, you could have eaten this with rice. That's how good it is. All right, so now I'm gonna grab some salt. Fried eggs not good anyway, so he's saving your calories. How this look, Josh? Looking good. good, right? Yes. And guys, suppose you want to do this with rice. You can't have this with rice, you know. You could have this with some rice, I promise you. As, as simple as it is right there, you could have it with some rice. Or if you, if you wanted, you could have it with bread. Like, um, for instance, you could make um, chili, um, Philadelphia cheese steaks with this. Yeah, all those things you could use. Wow, nice, nice, nice. And I'm just gonna make that continue doing its thing while I grab some cilantro. Until the day she died, my mother highly recommend my father's cooking, especially his porridge that he fed her after the Boom, 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 big up yourself, big up yourself. Yes, man. Great Wall of Mexico. Big up yourself. I love that. I love that post. Totally love that post. You are inspiring. It looks like curry. It looks like curry. A little. Now I have this great, 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 big um, additive. This is called Kulantro, and it is also called Shadon Benny in Trinidad and other uh, places in the world. And it is just like cilantro, but with a little bit more intensity. And so I'm adding my Kulantro at this time. And immediately, you once the Kulantro is added, you get that real Mexico flavor, you know, that real Spanish flavor. And guys, I'm not saying that I'm an expert on Latin cooking. I'm just doing my best. Me and Josh the real. So. Nice, 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 nice. And I'm keeping it dry, guys. I'm not really adding too much gravy to this because it's gonna be used in in the making of the of the uh, quesadilla. So I'm keeping it a little bit on the dry side. Turn the stove down. Pull the pot and try and taste it and tell me. How that taste? It's good? It's real good. Tastes real good. That's what I wanted to hear, boy. That's what I wanted to hear. You're doing good. You're doing good. All right. And I'm gonna finish this dish right now. Continue stirring, yeah. You hold, hold the thing, hold it, hold it properly. Yeah, yeah. I'm just gonna finish up with a little butter. Always add that little oh, extra. It's um, this is um, wheat butter, and it's from Publix, and it's unsalted as you can see, and it's you real know, butter. Yeah, they some have, people don't have like public. Yeah. That's tough. Yeah, some there there are other stores, you know, that um are close to Publix. But do they have public chicken recipes? Yeah, this oh yeah, no, 
And I'm making it really tangy, really tangy, guys. Let me see if I can find my other frying pan. What are they saying? I didn't see. Love your family, Yardy. Reminds me so much of mine. God bless you. Respect, respect for that. Respect for that. If you like what we're doing, guys, please give us a thumbs up. We appreciate it. If you like what's going on. Josh turned the stove. I did! <laughs> I <ordered. laughs> Hopton Allen. Hopton, tell him there for me, huh? To turn on the stove. Alright. Now, may, may, go, may go do this over here. Because I want to. I want to show them what I'm going to do now. Alright, Josh. You can, you can turn it off. All right, guys, so watch me now. This tortilla that we're using here is super big. Super big. It's actually burrito skin, you know? Jeez. So, yeah, take it off. So one of the things that I, I, I normally do is I take my tortilla skin like this, and I just... This one, right? Yes, sir. I just go with my little knife, Cut off the edges. Yeah, and I cut it round, round the, the the edge of a plate, just so that it remains even. Even. You see me? You have to turn and make fashion, guys. Yeah. You have to turn your hands to make fashion. That's one, and we're gonna need two for the purpose of this, this thing. All right, so pretty much what you do is, in order to not go all the way around, you find a spot, and Guys, I'm pr you can always get um, tortilla at the right size in the stores. But for the purpose of this program, we, we have to use our have. So bear with us, please. Don't come for me and tell me that all of these things. Because if I have tortilla at the yard, I'm not going to the store to buy any. Yeah? And when the camera is off, I'm going to make sure that I use the big one same way. Yeah, because me no waste nothing. I'm not wasting a thing. <clears throat> All right. So now what I'm going to do is off camera, I'm going to quickly transfer all of this chicken into the smaller, the smaller pan. Because I want to use this pan. 
the skin holds the tortilla um, skins better. And the reason why I didn't use the other pan is because the other pan will, will make the chicken... Um, oh, you're going to cook gravy? Yeah. The other pan, if I had used the other pan to cook the chicken, it would have stick. It would have stick in the pan. All right. And as you speak, a hundred million galaxies are born. No pate on my wrist. All right. Is there anything, guys, that I can put in in my in my chicken quesadilla to add to it, or should I just leave it like that? You want some raw onions in it, Josh, or you don't want any more onions? No, no more onions. All right. So, what you're gonna do now is you have tomatoes. tomatoes. You want tomatoes? No, no, but the tomato is not gonna. Yeah, the tomato is not gonna make it. Lettuce. Hold on, there. Tomatoes. Somebody said tomatoes. Um, wouldn't the tomato make it soggy? Wouldn't it? Put lettuce. Lettuce. Let me see. This is where I need your mom, so she knows where everything is. Call you want to call her? But don't make it look like a meat call. He just playing warriors. I don't business with heater though. But see ya. Me do my video and I ask to talk about heater playing warriors. Like he, he not already have the money. He can go buy taco. They not buy them nothing. Me not make taco for them. But see ya. Heater playing warriors. Heat is playing warriors. And that has a bearing on us for. All right, so I have some. Marina says bell peppers. Bell pepper. Do I have bell peppers? I may not think I have no bell pepper, you know. I may not think I have no bell pepper. I never, never use some of this lettuce. Let me take off some lettuce. And cut up some lettuce over here. Give me a sec, guys. Yeah, yeah, huh? I'll wash my lettuce and clean my cutting board. And I shall be ready in a sec. Yes, it is live cooking. We we'll have to make sure we juggle. You understand me, I said? Jugglements. And we're not looking for no troublements. So we have to make sure that it's correct jugglements. Alright, you want to show me cutting up the lettuce? Sure. Just like Taco Bell lettuce. Huh? I was calling you for assistance because we all need some help in life. You can help us. All right, Josh, you open the cheese. You're going to be our official camera person. Say hello. <laughs> Hi. Guys, check out the Yardy Belly t shirt. It is on the vlog uh, shop page. You can get your t shirt ASAP. Josh the Real, turn around, turn around. Yardy Belly t shirt. It says Tonya Han McFashion. It says Tonya Han McFashion, and it is a pink one. And it has the Yardy lifestyle at the back. So you can check it out ASAP. Just click the shop now button. Thank you so much. All right. So the first thing I'm gonna do is take my tortilla and come over here and add my tortilla to my warm pan. I have to fix it properly. All right. And when you add your tortilla, 
the second thing you want to do we have this beautiful fancy shredded mexican cheese that i picked up at trader joe's and you want to add some cheese why am i adding the cheese so early because when the cheese melts it it will allow the chicken to stick to the cheese you add, get it add here oh a deer add here add ear <laughs> it's about add ear to the cheese <laughs> that the cheese one here okay, help him, help him, please. all right and what um i'm gonna yeah. just put the, the cover on to help it along help no, it no along manners. you close the pot on the people just i'm just helping it along anyway. for a couple seconds one more pot over here what about avocados? You have to do the avocados. Yeah. Come hold this, Josh. Yeah, Let mommy do the one. avocado. And see my cheese is starting to melt right there. All right, now that my cheese is starting to melt, I have to watch my tortilla at the bottom there you know, because that will burn. So now what you do now is you sprinkle your chicken mixture over all around. Make sure you get jalapenos and a whole bunch of stuff. Get all of those things. Yeah. I feel like it did want the red onion though. But I'll put red onion on mine. Do you know what I would put on mine? What? Fire No fry, fry planting. Please. People, you hear her? Fry planting. Plant for your one. And I'm putting, making sure that I put ample amount of chicken so nobody not say they didn't get enough chicken all right now you turn back down your stove a little bit all right so once you do that you come back with a second round of cheese second round of cheese and if you notice I'm using the cheese not too heavy you just want to make sure that you apply enough cheese because you're gonna go back again with more cheese and then after the cheese lettuce lettuce look at that guys look at that look at that lettuce after the cheese after the cheese then the lettuce shall be a breeze after the cheese and then more cheese hallelujah hallelujah more cheese now watch it now more cheese please more cheese please and now you put a heavier amount of cheese because this is where you want the quesadilla to to stick yes more cheese Please. And then you take your last piece of quesadilla, of, of um, tortilla, and you put him on, and you press him down. And you make sure him stay down, and once you feel him holding on, grabbing on, that's when you have to start get creative now. Alright, you put the plate down like such. Watch me. That looks good, but I can't. Watch me, Josh. Stay far, stay far, stay far. And then, flip! Hallelujah, glory to God. And you come back over here now. Ah, yes. Oh, yes, believers. Come from the glory. He come from the glorious kingdom. Come from the glory. How that look? How that look? <coughs> nice. Woo! Woo! Nice. Yes. And you just want to make sure say, the cheese are there. Oh, it's hot. Make sure say, the cheese are there in properly. Hi, it me. Scrumptious. Um, <laughs> see, grab the pizza. Um, something. It looks good, but I can't eat it because it has cheese. But you can use um, you can use the imitation cheese. 
you know you know have to use regular cheese you can use imitation cheese and that will work as well yeah you know you can use vegan cheese for instance you can make the chicken you can go straight vegan yeah oh yes can i get the egg lifter please darling thank you so much for being our sous chef because me and joshua is the executive chef today all right so now you just basically want to i'm gonna flip it again and take it off because i know that it's supposed to be ready I, I, if i had if i had this this flat thing to cut it on you know i would do that but i don't where's the wedding so what are you gonna cut oh, it on? the plate you can't cut it on the plate i'm gonna cut it on the plate it's i'm gonna, break gonna the plate. it's not gonna break the plate come over josh it's not gonna break the plate it's not gonna break the plate I should cut these up. I shouldn't put them on that's so big. Put them in the middle. Let me cut them up. Oh, take up this. <laughs> And you're gonna put the avocado down on it too, or are you gonna leave it off it? Off. Okay. Now we're gonna have to hold the camera for one another on the TSC. <coughs> mm. you know? Yeah. You're putting that on yours. Mm -hmm. Wait, let me grab your your phone see and, and do a picture. Tasty. How it look, Josh? It looks good. Vegans be like. Mmm. This looks good. Alright, oh, look guys. And I like it. How much are you gonna take? I don't know, I'm just fooling around now. I'm using the habanero lime one to make it. You want to come show them? Sure. After them. This is the. <coughs> Sorry, my voice. This is the habanero. Look. The habanero lime tortilla. Um, it's supposed to be spicy, I guess. Since it says habanero. Jalapeno. Oh, habanero. Sorry. I said that. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And um, that's the chicken on it with the cheese. And the cheese he's using it has sharp cheddar, um, Monterey Jack, asadero cheese, and 
queso black bowl cheese. And he's putting red onion, uh, red mm -hmm. onions on it now for this one. And I'm adding some more cheese. Adding some more cheese. And then I'm adding some lettuce. You can see the cheese bubble right there. On the stove for me. Adding some more cheese. I, you should have put um. What should I put? I don't think you have it. Though. Um, that yellow thing, that white thing that they put on taco. Sour meat. cream. Yeah. Yeah. You want that? Nope. He didn't like that anyway. She don't. Go watch her. She's eating. Hey. She's she eating our food. Why are you all up on my nose? Mmm. <laughs> it tastes good. She's putting Taco Bell sauce. It tastes very good. She put avocado in hers. Mm -mm. I didn't. T tastes good? It tastes lovely. Joshua wants to eat. Now them. I'm putting the avocado. Mm. Go grab some, Joshua. Sorry. Look, we're little record the cheese. Hmm? Record the cheese. The I can't see. Very cheesy. Mm. <laughs> really good. You like it? Mm -hmm. Wow. Joshua likes it. He made it, so he should like it. I make the best food. <laughs> oh my lord. I think I would want to make one with something sweet in there for a sweet and salty cake. She wants to put her plant in. Like pineapple. She wants to change. Oh, 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 oh. Ooh. With a bit good, right? We'd have to do that on the story. Mm. Mm. So, guys, remember to like, share, subscribe, and, and to call your friends and tell them that Yardy Belly TV is doing some crazy things over here. Yeah? And remember, guys, when you don't know what to do, just turn it on and make fashion. Just, make it work. Just say Jesus. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Let me try it. Oh. Hey, wait. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> you went in. I can't have to eat. <laughs> you must eat. Where you gone? Review. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm -mm. This is so good. Thank you, Taco Bell. Mm. Wow. Don't you own a sauce package? I know I need it in my life. Some mm. people want to like them better than Taco Bell package. We are now. Mm -mm. Eat it with avocado. Something easy way. W O W moment. W O W moment. Mm. So good. Mm. 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 This is a nice light dinner. Right? Yep. But we went hungry quick. We'll That's come back right. More. We, have to go, we have to go light and easy in our life. You understand? Wow. That's the exact thing with a different roll. Yeah. Different um, wrap. With the habanero 
um, we'll wrap. You like the chicken? Yeah, this one is much smaller and you know it's already. It look like um, Jamaican patty crust. Eh? Mm hmm. Like from that place in Jamaica with the. the you mean Devon House? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And this one is the Abanero crust, guys. Yeah? But we're gonna be the first one to try it. No, oh, spicy. Mmm. It's so spicy. Mmm. Let's see if we can tear it. Look at that, look at that, look at that, look at that. Ooh la la. Look at that. Wait. Look at that. This is so awesome. Mmm. Mm. Let's go, Josh. Which shell, which shell do you like better? Um, the spicy. How many are? Wow. You can actually smell the habanero you while you're eating it. it. No, for real. It carry a, a smell. Which one you prefer, Josh? Mm. The original one? Mm -hmm. oh. It's good, it's right? Smells like scotch bonnet. Yes! Yes! It smells very scotchish and bonnetish. Mm -hmm. Guys, I apologize for my wife always standing in front of the light. <laughs> All right. So, pretty much as you can see, we have totally demolished our dinner. And we have the option of making more. But guys, always remember, you can turn your hand and make fashion in your house. Yeah? You're not happy to succumb to boredom at dinner time. You're not happy to do the same old mundane food. You can always pump it up and spice it up and nice it up by just being a little bit creative. Yeah? I do hope that you all enjoyed the program. So the wife here going up on the pineapple. Mm-hmm. Josh the reel is cleaning up and then we're gonna have a bunch of fruits. We have mango over there, pineapple over here, melon over here. Yeah, and cake. Ha <laughs> ha. She has totally destroyed the quesadilla. Because she loves pineapple. <laughs> Man. <laughs> My God. So, thank you all so much for joining us today. And we do hope that you will join us again. It tastes good? It tastes real good? Hmm? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. oh wow. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. The pineapple did it. Once again, thank you guys for joining us. Today's dish was brought to you by One True Natural and Josh the Real, Josh the Food Lover. And you can check him out on Instagram at Josh the Food Lover. And you can check out One True Natural at One True Natural. And you can check out Yardy Belly at Yardy Belly. And if we do anything else for the rest of the night, it's going to be on our story. So you can check out our YouTube stories. Until then, thank you so much for joining us. Have yourself a beautiful evening. God bless you all. 
and we say peace love and soul soul a joke live and laugh cook and eat and as usual turn your hand make fashion peace <laughs> Isn't it crazy? <laughs>